and welcome to Wine Chats with Bilder and Lindelin. I'm a professional and my name is Billy Milovanovic. They call me Bilder. <laughs> right. My name is Lindsay Kirkwood, also known as Lindelin, who is not a professional. Clearly. <sighs> look. You look so good in that outfit, girl. Oh, my shirt. I changed it. She, I mean, I changed my shirt as well. Um, listen, this is an offensively funny podcast about drinking wine and chatting life. I just want to talk about our outfits before we dig into the wine because Lindsay's a little bit aggrieved Mm -hmm. (laughs) due to um planning (laughs) we have decided to record two episodes in one day right Uh and so my thing was if we have content for the next two weeks worth Mm -hmm. of episodes we should not be wearing the same stuff like we need to switch it up a bit because if you're watching this episode on 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 the instagram Mm. and you're like oh my gosh this is episode number whatever and then uh, we're wearing the exact same thing the following week that either makes us look like we are not (laughs) Right in the head by dressing the exact same way two weeks in a row. Uh-huh. uh-huh. So I made us change. And Lindsay was really happy to do that. I was with no dramas whatsoever. Yeah, very irritated by your demand. It wasn't even a request, it was a demand. And normally I would be somebody, the person that would say, Billy, you can't wear that right? two weeks in a row. But we've had such a crazy morning. I'm like, I cannot be fucked to change my shirt. And Okay, this is going to sound really uppity. I don't mean uppity, but I can't, I don't just throw clothes on. Like I (laughs) I think about what I'm going to wear, how it's going to go. Like I can't just walk in and quickly chuck on a shirt. How am I the one with anxiety? I don't understand. I just like literally get dressed in whatever I, whatever is clean and smells fresh. Well, that's, that's wrong. So I just like, and I just said to her, like put a white shirt on. Like just change. No, you didn't. I grabbed the white shirt and I'm just so uncomfortable. My thong is going up my ass. I have this stupid part of my couch that's annoying. I've got a white shirt on that I wouldn't normally put on right now. But anyways, it's fine. I would also like to remind you that uh-huh. you spilled wine all over us <gasps> in did. the last episode. Yeah, it was a rosé though, thank God. So what you don't want to do is spill this beautiful wine that you're about to open. On your white shirt, on your sage green pants, see that color? It's mint. It's not sage. Please. Mint green pants and on this beautiful creamy ass cow. Yes. Okay, wine. Um, first of all, what we're talking about today, Billy, is oh, yes. pampering. <laughs> well, kind of like two things, like pampering yourself. So like me time. Uh-huh. And I just want to talk about a couple of products that I bought. Not kind of because not to pamper me in that way, but like products that I kind of wanted to get to zhuzh me up a bit. Which I guess is like pampering yourself to some degree, right? Let's go. So we are drinking um, Eight at the Gate Family Selection Shiraz 2019. Lava. Right? Um, Both Billy and I like our reds cooler. So it's been in the fridge. Yes. Don't hate. Don't judge. Do what you got to do. Drink your red however you want it. Um, And Billy, I'm so nice. I'm going to let you take this one home. (gasps) Isn't Thanks. that like passive aggressive? Didn't you get that? Like, I'm going to let you take this one. Home? I feel like everything you say is passive aggressive. So I can't, there's no <laughs> sense in like trying to divide. Such a whole bag. Anywho, um, eight at the gate. We absolutely love them. Jane and Claire are two sisters. They live in Rattenbully. I just feel like I need why? to. Yeah. Why? Oh, because a name like Rattenbully. Rattenbully. Canadians in Australia. I know. Like, I just feel like I need my cowboy hat on. Right. Like saying that. Okay. I Please know. Don't. It's so judgmental. I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> Two sisters, they have eight kids. One so gate. They, are you, were you getting, getting that? there? Sorry. They Two sisters. Eight. eight kids at the gate waiting for the school bus. Love. So cute. Love. Um, fun fact about this wine isn't really about this wine at all. It is that Jane and Claire, they're so bloody nice that they've invited oh. us to join, because obviously Rat and Bully is not in Brisbane. Nope. They've asked us to, um, well, they've invited us to the Good Food and Wine Show in Brisbane. Yes. That's coming up in a couple weeks. I cannot wait to meet these ladies. Seriously, they just seem like a ball of fun. I hope they bring the gate. I don't oh know if the eight God. children will be there, but I seriously am so stoked to meet them. Like, it's so nice that they've invited us. I mean, w- good food and wine show. What's the problem? Like, it's going to be amazing. Food and wine. It's going to be amazing. Balls. So, cheers. Oh, my God. Can you, can you please not say that around me? Like, we're not um, 17. Can you not write to uh-huh. people absolutely? I know. Please. I, I fucking did. Please. Okay. Absolutely. And re- yeah, that's how I it, wrote it. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a problem with that? I you do, can send I the message just next time. Problem. Oh, my God. I think so. <laughs> just don't be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cheers, Jane and Claire. <laughs> oh my God, we love you girls. Mm. Oh my God, do you know what I forgot? We're drinking it out of the white wine glasses because we had rosé last. So I got different wine glasses. We should have them in the red wine glasses. You're looking at me like I'm stupid. But no, I'm really, looking at you like I didn't realize there were different. Like, yes. We've never used a different glass. Yes, we well, because we've changed 
things up. So we've come up here. I also feel like you don't need to be so close. Oh, God. No, only because I don't know how loud it's going to be. So like, it's like just perfectly like me. Do you see how well I'm doing it? Can you be be, (sighs) Change your shirt. Change your mic. Be better. Um, pamper. Oh, do we have a catch up from um forty the, minutes ago when we did no, the other? No, the catch up was how you bossed me around to change my shirt, and now you've told me to change my mic. Anything but else? here's a little catch up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So remember when we? I wouldn't say had a big fight, but had a big Ooh. discussion. An awkward. Yes. Discussion. Discussion. Moment. Uh huh. And so me oh. forcing you to change your shirt today, I kind oh. of feel goes hand in hand with me basically like being more vocal oh. about the things that I feel like oh. should be happening. Right. Right. Like, okay. don't you feel uh-huh. like I'm just a little bit more vocal? Like no, if I feel re- like you should change your uh-huh. shirt, you should just change your fucking shirt. But if, and I, if you and say I, no, yeah. and I don't agree with that, uh-huh. I should just force you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying like, I'm, I'm okay now you guys, I'm fine. Like I'm right. super anxious all the time. <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> okay. Look, whatever is going to make you. But I also feel like uh-huh. I'm just so uh-huh. aggressive and opinionated now. Uh-huh. Wow. So thanks for changing a fucking shirt. Okay. Um, that's it. No, I didn't really okay. mean that that aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> came out like that. But what were we saying about awkward conversations? <laughs> so what we get out of our awkward conversation that we had a few weeks ago is that Billy is now a bossy pants. I'm mean now. Okay. Yeah. Mean. Good. Yeah. Okay. Um, look, you do you. I'm I'm happy to deal with the meanness. I think as long as you do me as well. In oh. the sense that, no, what? don't be gross. That's for another episode where we get to build our sex room, okay? That's and then you can tell me uh-huh. that episode is absolutely coming up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are going to get a real good insight into Lenny's uh-huh. brain and fantasies and the things that she wants in, in that perfect room. Crickets. <laughs> like that, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, um, let's move on really from this the very idea. awkward um, moment. More awkward conversations. I have to show you, okay, so before we go into anything... Because I'm so excited about this one product. We'll talk about all right. this other stuff that we need to talk about. But, okay, so you and I both have... <laughs> yes, this is the pen thing she showed me. I was like, what the hell is this when we were planning our stuff? Yeah. It so, vibrates. Whatever it is, it vibrates. Oh, wait. Okay, what? Right? So, and do you know what? I don't even know what... I, I mean, honestly, it looks like called. a giant lipstick, if yeah, you will. It like does. A- but, so it's called the Flawless, um, like, basically, like, to remove hair. So you know how we always wax <gasps> I'm terrified. Our upper... Why? Is that, are you talking about like face yeah. hair? And what, like people have been uh-huh. shaving their faces and stuff? Yes. What? I, I'm doing it. I've jumped on the train. Okay. Because. Re- you stay away from me. I'm, Unless I you want to get my lip. bikini line. No, oh, no. no. This is just for face. I want to do your upper lip. I've already you done You my... are not. Me. I've already done mine. What's wrong with you? You're so scared. How many times have you done it? <gasps> do your lip. Do your lip. <laughs> this is how I should. Change your shirt. Change your shirt. Lindsay, you have not gone through a whole revamp of your brain, okay? You don't get to right. yell at me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's my turn to yell for a few okay. years. Yeah. Um, no, seriously, how many times have you done that? I'm terrified. Only a couple. But that's what I'm saying. Like, don't you think it's going to bring it back like a mo? Like, I already but, have enough problems with yeah, growing look, my mo Yeah, look, and this hair. is the thing. So my mom was like that. She's like, it's because it's like, um, it doesn't, first of all, it doesn't hurt, obviously, because it's like the little, it's not sharp at all. Like, you, it's not a sharp razor so it's not like right you're yeah, yeah, giving the shaving cream out and like shaving your face right so the reason why I got this a little bit of story so I have pigmentation right yes pregnancy age son all this kind of stuff Fucking I'm freckly life. anyways yeah. yeah so I came across this product software I'm not plugging them at all but anyways it's called software oh yes you've been telling me about yeah. that yes, yes 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 which makes me actually which is why I'm so flushed right now I whenever I drink alcohol that's right yes so I put something up on their Facebook page like <gasps> does anybody else get like super flushed yes. now drinking anyways, blah, blah, and blah, do blah. they yes okay yeah apparently it's software re- if you use it on your face you get flushed drinking alcohol there you go so while I was scrolling through some of the comments, somebody recommended this because when you're using software, you can't wax your lip. Okay. Because it will tear the skin off. Yes. Your skin is like super sensitive, I guess. I don't know. What the fuck is the software shit? Seriously. It, to get rid terrifying. of my pigmentation. Well, it seems to be getting rid of I'm your like, skin. Yeah, okay, it yeah. does. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somebody recommended this. And my mom's like, Lindsay, that's like just shaving your face. You're yeah. going to have like a beard. But... It actually works so well. I know, but what's going to happen if I do it now too? I don't know. But like, okay, so I've done my lip twice. Oh my God, it's so soft. So I don't think... It is like a... You can feel it. But I mean, if you touch mine, it's like a forest. It's like a smooth little... But like before I wax, my 
my hair feels the exact same I'm way. I'm more scared that it's going to come back like a mo. And that's what my mom said too. I will let you know. Because that's why I asked you how many times you've used it because I'm happy to use it yeah. in about two years. Two years. Oh my when God. all your hair uh-huh. has had a chance to regrow right. back. And this is the thing. So I'm going to see how it grows back. Okay. And then if it starts going crazy again, I'll just start waxing again. Like, and I'll. Well, that's true. Yeah. It's no big deal. It's just my upper so lip. Like, if I start. No, it's a just your goatee. upper lip. Lindsay, we're trying to make money here. Well, I- <laughs> no, but like, it's fuck? not like I have to work my whole body. Now is not the time to like, fucking grow yeah. them out. But I did actually. Yes. Because when I had laser done on my face, like, the chick shaped, literally got a razor and shaved. Oh my God. Yeah, because I have lots of peach fuzz. Well, yeah, everybody like, does. Yeah. Literally, that's your face. Um, so she shaved and I was like, oh, can, can you shave not? my face? And she's like, no, it's not, it's me. She was just saying that just so I would let her shave my face. <laughs> but like when it grew back, it just grew back normally. Like it wasn't prickly or anything. Right. But obviously that was just shaving it once. Anywho, I'm rambling. I use this on that age, that area as well. Right. The amount of peach fuzz, not actual hair, but peach fuzz. Like you don't realize how much peach fuzz is actually on your face. No, I don't. And that's a thing that I've been like seeing on, on the Facebook a lot of those, like these beauty places. <laughs> Once again, uh-huh. not a vibrator, simply a shaver for your face. Uh-huh. People are raving about yes. it. People are raving about shaving their faces. Yes, but it's not like a it's mid- not the proper shaving, no. like you said. It's not like the you know. It's actually like these little it's like different, yeah, different rays. I, I don't know. I don't what the know difference what difference is. I don't it's know like either, the, but I'm terrified. The peach fuzz. Because again, too, yeah, being like Eastern European, already uh-huh. having very strong Ooh. hair. Yeah, I don't want it to come yeah. back. Look, like I guess. Tenfold. I mean, I mean, that's a look too these days. Listen, yeah. th- there's a vibe with that as well. Uh-huh. But I don't know if I'm brave enough to be yeah. rocking that vibe. No, please don't. Yeah. Again, let, we're trying to make money. Yeah, here. exactly. I'll let you know how it goes. Like, yes. Seriously, it's not prickly. It's just like fuzzy. But I mean, every hair is fuzzy. Yeah. I, I would right? listen. If I could just have a little, like, if Henry and I could just stand next to each other in the bathroom and just bzz, oh. our little mows away in the mornings, that would be <laughs> fucking amazing. I would love that. Because even oh, the hair God. that grows yeah. back. Yeah. Does it grow like and it, but you know you you're so right you can mm. literally just keep up with it it's never going to be that thick and black okay how much did that thing cost I bought it from Woolies forty four dollars from fucking Woolies yeah I saw it on the Instagram on the gram and I was like, before this chick even commented about it right and I was like oh yeah no whatever fucking way what a gimmick and then when I was reading on this Facebook group page like a yeah. private page about this software cream I was like oh I think I've seen that so then I was in Woolies just doing normal shopping and it was up hidden in the corner and like ah! I was like oh my god I didn't even look at the price I just grabbed it I'm like I'm gonna try it <sighs> looked at my receipt I'm so tempted bucks. but I'm also so terrified okay, okay but if you get enough balls one of these times let's just do I'll do a little reel of me doing it and you will be like oh my god the hair that comes off like, oh, that would be a bundle. But, oh, where shit. do you get it? Like, where does it collect? Yes. So like you just, I was just going to show you actually. You literally clip the thing off and then the hair is in there and it comes with a little brush to like brush it Oh, out. my mo alone is going to like stuff that thing. Yeah. Well, you have to <laughs> clean it out in between it says. Oh my God. We should just do a reel. Okay. Where okay. I do mine and then you do yours. Okay. And then doing it once like you said, it's not gonna, it and, Like waxing it back is going to be fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, this Anywho. has taken a really long segue to get to a pamper me. <laughs> Edit some of that shit out. Episode. Okay. But uh, yeah, 14 minutes of talking about a. <laughs> No, oh my god, I'm so face. sorry. Billy, I've been talking too much. Tell the tell the people. No, I was enjoying that. I wasn't saying that. I was oh, just right. saying, but I will tell these people. Um uh-huh. <coughs> we got a, a message yeah. not too long ago from these wonderful people. Uh Peony Parcels. Am I I don't know if I'm saying Peony? Peony, Peony. <laughs> Peony. I don't know how to say this word. Peony it's a new parcels? word to me. Peony. Like the I'm assuming like the flower. I would assume so too. Yeah. I've never heard of that flower, but you oh. seem so confident. So uh, I've heard of the Peony flower. Peony parcel. Yeah. Uh-huh. We're like, hi, we love you guys and mm. we want to send you a pamper box. And of course we were like, oh, please don't because why would you? Like <laughs> as yeah. it, like, how exciting that somebody yeah. is offering to send us literally a pamper box. Each. Each. Because I thought we were going to get one. Yeah. We get each. Yeah. And they sent us this little spiel about like who they are, what they are. It's basically like Australian made products that are curated in this box. Premium. Premium products, products that are curated for the specific box. That's like, I think this is their brand new summer edition box that they've uh, just released a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I think mid-September. $200 so anyway, worth of products in it. $200 worth of products. We get, oh first of all, in this thing came the one, this 
crystal. Seriously. You know those. What are they called? Rose. I think it's rose quartz. Isn't but it? what like a rose quartz crystal for what? Uh, like for each, yeah, you know? rose quartz. Well, it's just a. Would you say geisha oh, a, facial ooh, massage? Geisha, geisha facial massage. I don't know facial massage. I don't know, but they're all the rage right now, right? Yeah, and. Whilst it looks like the thing oh, that you've seen online it. so many times, it just feels so fucking nice yeah. literally just doing that. Like just putting it. Yeah. It's one of those cheekbone ones where you just slide it up up your cheekbone. Well, and it, we got oil as well to yes. go with it. And this, um, like a lot of the actual people that know what they're talking about, like my Botox lady. Yes. Like it's an actual proven thing. It's not just a gimmick. So like you put the oil on and you oh. just, yeah, like it's not a, a beauty gimmick. Like I mean, actually, I would have believed that even if it yeah. was a beauty gimmick, I believe everything on Facebook. So right? Fine. You know what I mean? Like I would, t- yeah. I would take it with such a oh, it people like that. So good. I've been wanting one of these forever. Oh well, we're gonna have to. I'm mm-hmm. gonna have to do mm-hmm. some proper research on that. So we yeah. got the crystal for the cheekbones and the face mm-hmm. and the whatnot. Um, it comes with a silk headband. Now I don't think this is just a normal headband. I feel like it's some sort of. I don't know. Read the thing. Uh, well, just a silk Mongolia. Oh, it's gorgeous. Nope, that's yep. Yeah, it doesn't give us any more information than that. But it's I this beautiful this is- silk. Heads. Yeah, you know bend. when you're giving yourself facials and washing yes. your face and doing all that kind of stuff, you normally tie your hair back or a lot of people yep. put on their headbands. And again, silk, yeah. like for curly hairs, uh, thank you. Thank you. Because it doesn't make he- curly hair frizzy or any kind of hair frizzy. Yeah, see, so the beauty oil. So like beauty oil? Yep. to pamper, uh-huh. like, so a bit of me time, right? Mm-hmm. Quote unquote me time, which is the whole point behind these boxes. Like literally... To put your hair back, yes. you put some oil on your face and you just spend 10 minutes even like doing your lovely little rose court thing. Better yet, make your husband do it. Make your best friend do it. No, I want to lie time. down. I'll do it for you, Lenny. Oh, well, that's fine. But you got to do it for me. No. <laughs> that's a flat oh, Fuck off. <laughs> wow. But continue on. Yes, Billy. Continue. Um, we also got some <laughs> gold eye masks. So, you know, those um, yes. under eye, th- I guess it's yeah. under eye. Actually, Anti-aging me... gold eye mask. Yes. Anti-aging gold eye mask. That's the, uh, like, see, and seriously, seeing these eye masks immediately made me say to you, when are we going away? Yeah. When are we going to just lie in a hotel room next to each other <laughs> with our gold Fully clothed. Eye- <laughs> well, <laughs> optional. With our robes optional. on. Optional. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anti-aging right? gold eye masks. So they're for firming, hydrating, and brightening. You see these all over the place on right? socials right now too, right? So like beautiful. Everybody doing them. So this is yeah. Asology. Yeah. Okay. Asology, anti-aging, yeah. We right. literally need to have a, a me slash Billy day. Yes. <laughs> where, uh, me day where you just pamper me. Yeah. Where we do these. Seriously. Totally. Heaven. And then there was a bubble bath. Ma- a bubble bath. A bubble bath. You drunk. A little bit. Yeah. Bubble bath, it's called. Bubble Billy. bath. Uh-huh. And was there anything else? A or, I mean, candle. that was. Oh, and a little candle that looked a little bit like a. What did it look like? Well, I like, thought it was kind of like a sex toy. I, I thought first. it was a sex toy too. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just always a square, bumpy one. Yeah, I think I left it on the counter right. by accident. Um, at first, I literally thought it was sex. I did too. We pulled it out and I was like, what? Hell, yeah, is but then I yeah. saw the wick on it. I'm like, ah, just a candle. It's fine. Um, which, by the way, I've been needing a new sex candle, so same, same. Oh, great. Salted Sun caramel. Face. Oh, salted caramel and rum and raisin. Oh, Those the absolute s- smells of sex to me. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you know, like this is totally, this needs to be in our sex room episode. And I'm going to repeat it then too, because I, I feel like it all the time. That just, re- it just reeks brothel to me. Like, isn't that the best place to have sex though? If you want to catch a fucking STD, Lindsay, you're with- I'm in my house oh with my, my husband. God. No, you're in a Neither brothel. one of us Can have had an STD now? recently. <laughs> in we the both last right months, yeah. in the last 20 it years. Smell, like the smell is so cheap. Oh. Like, don't you want a nicer smell? No, I want to no, You want to be a cheap thing. whore. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. I want to be a your, cheap whore to my your, husband. <laughs> your husband wants you to be a cheap <laughs> whore. Exactly, right? <laughs> so you're trying to get in the mood. Okay, that's next week. Okay. Right? Um, me <laughs> trying. You get <laughs> now, yeah, not Henry time, me time Yeah, now. me time. Um, so, okay, question. Because yes. when we did get these boxes, this yes. is kind of what triggered to do, obviously, this topic. Um, I was trying to think, like, do I pamper myself? Do I have do me you? time? And I don't, like, on paper in the sense of, like, I don't take bubble baths. Mm-hmm. I don't meditate. I don't do my rose court thingy. Um, I don't really take me time. But then me time doesn't have to be, like, a beauty treatment or doing something physically to your body for me Mm -hmm. I love and I think you're like this too me time 
to sit on the couch and watch a show and eat chips. Like yeah. I, when I know that I'm able to do that, like I get giddy inside. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, mm-hmm. I like, there's nothing else I want to be doing over yeah. this. I basically, I feel like that's my kind of like just general state. And then anything right. I do on top of that <laughs> yeah. is amazing. Right? All right. Cause that's okay. just like how yeah. I would love to live my life. Mm-hmm. I know that mm-hmm. sounds terrible. And I need other things to make that time like precious. Yeah, so wait, you, went, no. What's happened? I'm like, you just moved so funny that I'm like, what's happened? My foot's falling asleep. Oh, again. <laughs> Stretch your legs out, girl. We're on a couch. It's fine. I'm about to fart. No. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I look, listen, absolutely. Uh-huh. That's yeah. my favorite thing to do of all time is literally nothing is sit, eat, chips, yeah. watch TV. Favorite yeah. of all time. And like, you know, sorry to cut you off, but to emphasize that point, you know, when you like, obviously we have kids and yeah. like life and stuff. So when you are like, oh, sweet. I can sit down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And like the in peace. Yeah, like the universe has allowed this to happen. Like you get so like yes. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Look, I don't because I feel like oh. again I've been no. It's only because I've been anxious lately. So to me, okay, it, yeah. that time is like I crave it. It's more yeah. necessary rather than like mm. yes, I get this time. It's mm-hmm. to me, it's more like oh thank god, I just get to put mm. my ball down for a little bit and like watch yeah. Handmaid's Tale and like worry about somebody <gasps> else's angst. How good is it? Anyway, whole other episode. Oh my god. But I, on the other hand, mm-hmm. actually love doing all that stuff. Mm. I love taking bubble baths. Mm-hmm. I love putting face masks mm-hmm. on. I love like get, having massages. My favorite. I think uh, I was trying to remember what why I was taking you, but it was we, your third pregnancy or something, and I showed up to your door. Oh yeah, for the you and Kate, the other Kate. Not oh, Katie. that's right. Yeah, Kate. No, no, yeah. <laughs> What's with those Kates? I don't What's know. What's with the Kates? Yeah. Seriously. Anyways. No, I surprised Lindsay once, mm. and I uh, just showed up to her. <laughs> This is actually kind of a cute story because yeah. I came up, I came to your door with yeah. flowers. It yeah. was a baby shower, right? Uh-huh. It was like, yeah. And so I just showed up and she was like looking at me awkwardly, like and looking back at Cameron because I had teed it up with Cameron for her to have the afternoon off. Yeah. But Lindsay, obviously Cameron had to tell like mm. Lindsay. Anyway, so I was like, oh, hi. And she was like, oh, this is so awkward, but I have plans. Like I'm yeah. about to leave. Like, like, and I'm like, what are you doing on my doorstep? Nope, yeah. with me. So we went yeah. for a nice massage. That was so and sweet. Lunch. That is like my ultimate. Yeah. Oh, totally. Anytime. Yep. And like those foot massages that <gasps> turn into whole body massages. Even the foot, like yes. not to be racist, but you know how they're normally Asian run, yeah. like in the mall. Thai. It's the Thai massages. Yeah, the actually. Thai yeah. massages. Like, yeah. But my mom and I love the foot yeah. slash lower leg ones yes. because you always get to lay in those big lazy yes. bush um, chairs. Mm-hmm. Have been my favorite one to do is when they do so it's like an hour okay, so for forty five yeah. minutes they do yeah. the legs and all uh-huh. that and then uh-huh. they sit me down in a chair and do my shoulders and my Ooh, neck to it's top all it kind off. of encompassed yeah. because sometimes I don't want to be lying on my face for like an hour and no do you know <laughs> I can't do that anymore I'm seriously too I don't, I don't do you know what happens to me my sinuses yes. get blocked yes I hate that. And you cannot breathe. So you're breathing through yes. your mouth, but then you're drooling on the floor as well because you're well, like- that's disgusting. Keep it together. Right? <laughs> but you can't because you, you can't putting a cup under- Right? Seriously, totally. Not, Does I it happen actually, to you? Yes. And I cannot do one hour massages like that. I only ever do 45 minutes. Same. It's yeah. too long. My too nose long. just blocks up like that. My nose is blocked up just thinking about oh it. Oh my God. Embarrassing. <laughs> uh-huh. Anyway. Okay. So we love I massages. I love that. Like yeah. I love like pampering myself uh-huh. is my ultimate. And Henry knows I love pampering myself. So then he pampers me as well, which is really nice. But, and that's amazing. Like as in he buys them for you or he will massage you? Both. Okay. Because my question is like, even though you love all that stuff, because like I love bubble baths, I yep. love massages, but do you actually do them? And how often do you actually 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 can i say actually anymore okay do you want me to actually tell you can you actually edit that part out <laughs> no okay fine right. <laughs> fine let the listeners listen yeah. to this actually um look i actually do okay <laughs> <laughs> i did not mean to say that that just came out I do it quite often. The bubble baths, mm-hmm. I went through a little stage where mm-hmm. I was doing them probably every couple of weeks. Oh, that's good. Because again, uh-huh. you have to remember that I have a lot more kid-free time than what yeah. any regular person uh-huh. does. So during that kid-free time, mm. I absolutely schedule mm-hmm. that stuff in. Yeah. Um, but do you have to have mm-hmm. kid-free time to have a bath? Like you could just close the door. I can't. Well, like your kids are old enough where you could just go in the bathroom and close the door. Like they're I not could, but then you know what happens? A, they're outside knocking and doing all that crazy oh, yeah. stuff. <laughs> that was a really weird breathe. <laughs> sorry, sorry, kids. <laughs> Tissues. But also then they want me to do it for them. Uh-huh. As in oh. then I have to make two other baths after that. Oh. So, you know, I just can't be fucked. I, I, I'm, mm. To me, it's easiest when everybody's just fucked off and gone. Right. Having a bath and then having mm-hmm. to step back into motherhood is not yeah. pampering to yeah. me. 
But you always have to step back into motherhood. Not when your kids are away. Well, eventually they come back. Yeah, but I mean, if I have to, if it's like a Saturday and I want to have a bath in the afternoon and then get out and be on the couch and eat. But see, this is- You know what I mean? I think, and the point that I'm trying to make in a very not clear way is, so for me, because I like having a bath, Uh but I never have a bath because in my mind- You could just do it, just close the door. Totally, but see, I'm always looking for the perfect opportunity to, like- you know, where I'm cold or where, because getting in a hot bath when you're cold in the wintertime. It's, it's true. Summer baths you know, suck. Totally. I don't want to have a nice bath. Yeah. yeah. But like, or to have a bath, this sounds really dumb, but if I'm super tired, I can't have a bath because like, I'm just going to drown. drown. <laughs> Seriously. But like, I feel like, especially not to jump on this train because it's really not the way I want to take on, get it. On the but train. like, not to be like, whatever, but as mothers or right. stay-at-home parents, I should yes. say, like there's always something to do. So before you pamper yourself, I'm always like, oh, I should do that first or I'll do that. I like, mean, that's ridiculous. Don't th- do that. Well, okay. I mean, but that's people, your own problem right yeah, there. I know. No, of course I didn't think like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. That's why no. it makes us that's different. Like that, but the, and the thing about having something to do is mm. you. there's never going to be a time you don't. No, exactly. Ever. Yeah. If your house yeah, yeah. is perfectly mm-hmm. schmick, which it is, and your kids are taken care of. They're not even here, let's say. Yeah. Yeah. You could honestly have a bath after I leave right now. You have about four minutes. Yeah, I'm like, there's If you get the water running, like, creeping up on us. No, uh-huh. you just have to, I, I, yeah. I feel like you just have to reclaim yeah. your time and do I know. it. And, I, you do. and that's the point I make about not having kids mm-hmm. for like a whole weekend because I have yeah. two days to decide uh, totally. what I want to do. Do you know what I mean? So to me, yeah. it's easier to schedule, not schedule, but like to have pamper time because I don't have to worry about Fitting in everything else. And to fully enjoy that bubble to bath fully enjoy or the it. massage or whatever it is. Because to me, there's no sense in yeah. being in a bubble bath and then knowing that there's like mm. kids outside waiting for me to feed them. Yeah. But I'm just going to squeeze in yeah. another set. Like that to me is not pampering. It's but just then, rushing through something that I feel like is a chore and almost. Yes. And devil's advocate to yeah. it because yeah. I don't pamper well, you myself don't get it, yeah. either for my OCD-ness because I'm always doing other things. But like- we should take, even if Absolutely. it is 10 minutes. Yes. Like we should take that, even if it is a rush 10 minutes. So do you bath. never like, put a face mask on? Never. When I, I was going to say the Kissed Earth the ones. The Kissed Earth ones, but once I was done with those, never. I don't do any like body pampering. Like my little like yeah. dildo sanding thing. Like to me, I'm like, oh, that's exciting. Like right. that's a bit of, it's not pampering. It's but like four seconds of pampering. How I know. long could it take you to do that? It, four and a half seconds yeah literally like <laughs> not exactly. long but no I don't and when we got these boxes or we knew we were getting right them, it actually made me feel kind of guilty that I don't do stuff for myself and that maybe I should well, you shouldn't feel guilty about it because that's just another negative emotion in it but oh, that's deep right well I mean you're like well I feel guilty about it but you yeah. should make find more time for it yeah well I felt I don't know how yeah. and when because you are so right? busy but I'm busy being busy. You make yourself busy. I, exactly. Like I could so totally. make yourself busy pampering yourself. Yeah. Well, I'm going to rose court the shit up. But I do honestly like my ideal, like this is what I dream of when I get mega rich. Come on. Wine chats, wine chats. <laughs> right. I just <gasps> want to book myself in. It's gone. Yeah. You, Here it is. Uh-huh. There you go. I want to book myself in for like a full day spa. Yeah. And just be in a full day spa. I want you, you don't to have to be mega rich mud. for that. They're so expensive. How can I say I'm going to spend seven hundred dollars on a day of pampering? Well, just do half a day. I've done half a day before with a bunch of girlfriends. You What's weren't invited. Rude. Yeah, right. What's well, the point you- of four hours when you can have eight? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I mean. No, I right? really just want to have like an entire day where they just wrap me up in yeah. mud, wash me down. Massage Ew, me. Wash you down. That's oh, they gross. can do whatever they want to me. I mean, don't poke my bits. I don't want that bit. Yeah, well, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just uh-huh. saying, I want to go in and just be. Do you know what I've always wanted to do as well? Oh my God, not to spill red wine all over you and your couch. On the white. But I've wanted to go uh-huh. to those um, bathhouses. Yes. Uh, yeah. And But the thing, you got to go in there naked. So you have to almost well, no, be drunk as well, to. right? Oh. <laughs> So if we could just go after recording no, two no, episodes it, in a row. This, no, you don't have to go in naked, Billy. You wear your bathers. What are you talking no, about? No, but you, like, if you're going to do it, you want to do it right. No, you wear you your bathing free. suits, Billy. You wear your bathing suits. Unless if you have a private one. Like you're not going to, I've been to them before. Like I went I with a bunch of girlfriends. One. Like Again, I wasn't invited. No, you weren't because I went when with. When do I ever, ever get invited to these things? 
What are my friends Maybe one like day. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Maybe because you make them change their shirts when they don't want to. Um, no. no, like you, we wore bathing suits. But that's because you were friends. You can't go with a friend and then look Yeah, but in it's in eye. a big, like depending on the way it's <clears throat> set up. So tank. Are there look. naked people though? No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Imagine me. I'll shut up naked and be yeah, like, ah! yeah. No, but there are, yes, there right. are ones that you Am can. I'm losing you in this screen. What do you, yeah. I don't oh, know. No, it's okay. What? Sorry. It's, uh, look, now it, the you look whole so far thing. Away. I know. I, know. Okay, I need sorry. to. Right. The whole. Move oh. closer to me. God. Just I mean, it's too late now. Mic. We've already had a whole episode. Like, yeah, it, that way. yeah, but then now it's like, oh, this is comfy. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. And then if you could just move <laughs> back a bit. Perfect. Yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Bloopers. Stop it. It's fine. I have code. It comes out just like that. Anywho. We should test that. No, there. you're right. There, there's lots of places that have the option to go in naked in certain of the pools. I think yeah. part of pampering uh-huh. yourself should be to feel so comfortable with your body. I know. Listen. Oh my I God. It. Stop I talking. Sorry, I yeah. can't believe what's coming out of your mouth. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't. I want to be able to be naked and be free about it. Like what's the problem? Seriously, we're all like born in one way. The, what topic are we talking about today? I missed the memo. I Is honestly this? think that the second <laughs> one in a row <laughs> on an empty stomach not Is not you. I, are we talking about just, uh, we were talking about like yoga and like, you know. Were we talking about yoga? Well, meditation, like whatever makes you feel good, <laughs> pampering. And now you're talking about like, we're all born one way. Are you a hippie? Um, what happened to you? I would love to be a hippie. Do we want to talk about no, the commune again? Because you don't want to no, go there. This is a, uh, yet no, again, a whole other episode. No. Um, no, I listen, I love pampering and I do it quite often. I really feel like I do. Well, that's good. I'm actually impressed. I don't. I all. wish I liked pampering that actually improved something like I feel like you know I try all these face masks Mm -hmm. and this and that it doesn't really I mean does it do anything I don't know I don't think it really does (laughs) but it makes me feel (laughs) I was gonna say something really mean but I'm not gonna gonna say say? go on I was gonna say (laughs) oh I can't without laughing because it's so mean but I'm not trying to be mean but I think it's funny but it's not as mean um well clearly they don't work because you have to (laughs) <laughs> because if they did, I wouldn't look like this. No, that's mean. Because you have to laugh. Because you have your two big pimples down there. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't know Wait, that. Why did you? Have to I say? know you're on your good side, but that's because you mentioned it today. But we're both PMSing, so no, I've got mine right here. I have one in the Oh my god! Oh my god! Seriously, do you know what happened? Yeah. I, the a uh, couple of days ago. Because the thing is, coming up to wine chats. Uh huh. Like on a Thursday. On a th- yeah. Well, coming up to, yeah, Thursdays. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, like, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm like, seriously, lots of water, like, lots, you know, no, none of that, no chocolate, none of that, because like, I break serious? out. Yes, because I break out. This week, because I've been a bit anxious, I'm like, <laughs> fuck Thursdays. Fuck yeah. Fuck this, fuck that. I finished, like, a whole thing of Napolitanke, which is, like, this little wafer, chocolate wafer thing. Oh, like, yeah, you bought me those for yeah. a Yeah, 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 yeah. And then polished off whatever uh-huh. hazelnut chocolate I had in my drawer. Oh, and no. That makes me happy. Okay. Yeah. You talk about pampering, that shit makes me yeah. fucking happy. Chocolate. Until the next day when you have Thank you. pimples, right? Yeah. But for days I've been battling this one giant, like, oh, horn. Oh, yeah. And this is good, uh-huh. what it was like. This is, I mean, now yeah. I've covered it up. And then it's this one bad. giant, like, yeah, little- Yeah, don't hole. touch it. Yeah. Well, it's, it, nobody can see it. And I'm leaving after this anyway, so it's fine. No, but I'm saying don't touch it because you'll make it angry. Er. It's already so angry. <laughs> there's er. no sense in trying to calm it down. Yeah. So anyway, mm-hmm. I just wish pampering would mm-hmm. involve making me look better. Oh, <laughs> That's- Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, it. My, I did have- Behind the couch, but you've taken them because yeah, you were crying my over it. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, that's a bit funny. Yeah. Okay. I just feel like you put so much effort in, and oh. it gets you nowhere. Where? Oh, is some is somebody suddenly? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say? Is this the awkward conversation <laughs> episode again? What happened? Are we? I don't know. This is a weird, weird episode. That's all I know. Oh. Um, I think. Look, let's just talk about the wine. Let's just <laughs> level it out a bit, normalize it for a second, if we can. Let's try really I mean, hard. We can try. We, we can, can try, try really hard. Um, it's everything that you would think a Shiraz should be. It's deep, Beautiful. delicious, dark. I want to say stormy. It's not stormy, but dark and stormy, right? Um, no, it's not stormy. It's yum. It's delicious, right? I'm a little bit brainless right now. <laughs> um. 
My tongue and mouth isn't working like it should. Oh. <laughs> like it should. Do you see what's happening? I, yeah, I can hear. Mm-hmm. I have enjoyed this wine from the very mm-hmm. first sip. Mm-hmm. There's definitely, it's a, would you say it's a little bit sweet? It's not like it's dry, but there's like definitely like the fruitiness to it, right? Yeah, there's definitely something about it that doesn't make it so offensive that some Shirazes can be. Yes, yeah. that can be quite like. I do quite, you yeah. know. But this one's really beautiful. I'm just really. Oh, I will not be able to read the back because um, I need old lady. Yeah, let me tell the people. No, if I you're good, I, if I pull it back a bit, yeah. Um, premier French oak, yeah, blah blah blah. Um, no, it doesn't say anything. I was wondering if it spoke about <gasps> like us fruits yeah. or whatever. Right. Um, no gravel, no fruit. It doesn't say so no gravel, no fruit. No, no cigar, no nothing. No, no. But it's seriously delicious. And um, once again, very impressed with yeah. all of these wines. We can't wait to meet the ladies. <gasps> I know Jane and Claire. Jane and Claire, we will not be drunk. Speak for yourself. Yeah, actually. <laughs> no. I cannot promise that, Jane and Claire. But do you see what happens to us after <laughs> two glasses of wine? Seriously. We don't lunch. That's right. Which yeah. we probably won't on that day either. <gasps> Lindsay, talk. <sighs> I can't. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> that was, listen, yeah, I don't no, know if you feel pampered. I don't know if we've pampered you enough. We didn't. I, we did nothing of the sort because this episode was so <laughs> weird and I feel like it was possessed by our weird energies. Yes. But that's okay. That's okay. Because we chat life and life sometimes is all about weird energies. So let's just call this episode the weird energies episode. Perfect. About weird stuff. Weird stuff. (laughs) You can find more weird stuff and energy and episodes on um, your favorite podcasting app. Uh, Also on YouTube. We are full episodes on YouTube. You can chat to us if you email us at onechatspodcast at gmail.com. Yes. You can find our website, onechatspodcast.com. You can also find us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. We're probably on other channels as well, but we just don't use them anymore. Lindsay is starting to look real funny. Um, she has left, left the building. Um, I'm just laughing hmm. at you, like trying so hard to concentrate and get your words out properly. Are you going to be laughing when I'm so hardly trying to drive home? <laughs> Right? I just Don't thought I had that. to stop. Police. Well, the police aren't watching us live on Instagram. And obviously, I'm going to put time my wine glass in. Yeah, right? Sorry, officer. My teeth aren't purple. Yeah, Tinged yeah. for... Officer, I can't wine. feel my teeth. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Every time I, I get drunk, my teeth go numb. Your teeth are numb anyways. What do you mean? Oh, no, like I go like this. Yeah, it starts to tingle a little. Your teeth tingle? Yes. That's exactly how I know I've gotten like proper tipsy drunk. Your teeth tingle. Yeah. Well, they don't, but I just, I, like when I do this, I don't feel them. Like everything kind of tingles. Okay. Like, can we just end this episode? Because so seriously. So thanks for that. Um, and <laughs> chat soon. Maybe. Bye. Bye. Watch out for those teeth. Yeah. <laughs>